But first, a story you'll only see on WTOC. Thanks for joining us on the News at 530. I'm Sam Bauman. Georgia U.S. Senator Raphael Warnock in Savannah today talking with doctors about the push to lower insulin prices for millions of Americans living with diabetes. WTOC's Flynn Snyder spoke exclusively with the senator about his plan today. Senator Warnock met with local hospital leaders discussing ways to increase access to insulin, a medication used for treating diabetes. It follows a bill he recently introduced that would cap out-of-pocket insulin costs. Senator Raphael Warnock touting his efforts to reduce the price of insulin. The senator meeting with doctors and insulin users at St. Joseph's Candler Hospital during a roundtable discussion. The visit comes as both Senator Warnock and Louisiana Senator John Kennedy introduced the Affordable Insulin Now Act in March, which would cap insulin costs at $35 a month, whether you have insurance or not. Insulin should not be expensive. Uh, and the fact that it is expensive for so many is indicative of the ways in which um, uh, Washington too often responds to the powerful and the well-connected uh, rather than ordinary people. The bill would also create a program that pays back some pharmacies and healthcare groups that provide uninsured people a monthly insulin dosage. It comes as the American Diabetes Association says the price of the four most popular types of insulin have tripled over the past decade. The Georgia Department of Public Health says more than 12% of people in the Peach State have a diabetes diagnosis. During the roundtable, medical experts explaining medication cost is only a piece of the puzzle. A main focus is the cost of medication, and then the education piece can save so much cost as well. Um, we have a lot of patients that when they are handling their insulin, they may not know, you know, how the food piece ties into it. They may have complications from just the medication itself. Senator Warnock also touring the hospital's treatment facilities, saying he's confident the legislation will get passed. Insulin is not a partisan issue. It's a health care issue. And there are some 20 states that now cap the cost of insulin, blue states and red states, and I'm hopeful that we can come together and get this done at the federal level. The legislation comes as several insulin manufacturers have also announced they will lower the price of some popular insulin products. 